Uh, question number 5 has been given here in, in the diagram A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H are parallel lines. Uh, it has been mentioned here. Okay, uh, and the lines C, F and B, G intersect at X, G, F, C, uh, C, F, G, this one angle, this one here, that is 53 degree, B, G, F, it is 46 degree and C, B, X, C, this one angle, that is equal to 81 degree. So, part A, find C, X, G, C, X, G, we need to find out the value of this angle, okay, this one angle we need to find out the value of this, this angle we need to find out. So, uh, we can see here that 81 degree and C X G which we need to find out, this is a straight angle, both angles lying on a straight line which is B X G. So, this is a straight, link, a straight angle, so look at this one, okay, uh, 81 degree plus C X G, C X G is equal to 180 degree and the argument is it is a straight angle, straight angle. Okay. So, now C X G, C X G is equal to 180 degree minus 81 degree and you will get Okay, this is equal to 90, uh, 99 degree, 99 degree is the answer for part 1, okay. Now, the part B is B, C, X, we need to find out B, C, X, okay. So, B, C, X is this one angle, okay. B, C, X is this angle, B, C, X, okay. So, B, C, X and 53 degree this angle these are the alternate angles because these two lines are parallel lines in a b c d and e f g h these are parallel lines in the third line which is c f it is crossing both of the parallel lines so these two angles which is b c x which we need to find out and 53 degree these are alternate angle so directly we can say okay so b c x the angle b c x B C X is equal to uh, G F X uh, X F G uh, X F G and the argument is these are the alternate angles alternate angles okay so sorry B C X this is B C X so now B C X which we need to find out that is equal to 53 degree. So, the answer is 53 degree, 53 degree is the answer, okay. Third angle is A, B, X, third one is A, B, X and how can we find out this one? A, B, X is this angle, okay, okay, A, B, X is this angle, this one angle is A, B, X. Okay, and how can we find this angle A, B, X, okay, okay, we can see that this one angle is 46 degree, this is 46 degree, why, because this angle and this angle, this one angle, this one, this angle and this angle, these angles are alternate angles, so B, X, B, C is 46 degree and XBC plus ABX is equal to 180 degree, okay. So, we can write this that ABX and CBX, okay, ABX okay. angle ABX plus C B X is equal to 180 degree, okay, and the argument is straight angle, straight angle. So, A B X we need to find out this one, A B X plus 46 degree, 
is equal to 180 degree and a b x is equal to 180 minus 46 degree and this is equal to 134 degree 134 degree is the answer 134 degree will be the answer okay so this uh, is question number i think this was question number five okay question number six is been given here okay question number six is uh work out 69 divided by 0 0.3 okay so the question is 69 uh, divided by 0 0.3 means 3 upon 10 we convert this decimal fraction into common fraction and now 64 multiplied by 10 upon 3 when we change this division into multiplication so we will put the reciprocal of 3 upon 10 which is 10 upon 3 so we got 640 divided by 3 so you can uh, write the answer is a mixed fraction and how can you do this one 60 640 divided by 3 okay uh, 3 cannot be cancelled out with the 3 3 to the 6 and 3 1 the 3 3 to the 9 cannot be cancelled out so we can divide this one 640 divided by 3 3 3 to the 6 4 3 1 the 3 1 and 0 3 3 the 9 1 and again if you uh, because the question has been given in the decimal fraction therefore we need to put this as a decimal fraction so to write this in a decimal form so put the point decimal here and 1 0 for the decimal 3 3 is a 9 and this will never end okay again you will get 10 and 3 3 is a 9 and again 10 and 3 3 is a 9 so the answer will be 2 1 3 point 3 3 3 3 3 so the answer is 2 1 3 point 3 this is the answer of this question okay okay next question work out one whole 4 upon 7 divided by 3 upon 5 and give your answer is a mixed number in its simplest form so the question is been given here in the mixed fraction so the answer will also be in the mixed fraction in this question number six part a the question was been uh, gi given in the decimal fraction so the answer is, should also be in the decimal form so here is part b okay one whole four upon seven seven one is a seven plus four eleven upon seven divided by three upon five sorry three upon five 7 upon okay wait okay so 11 upon 7 multiplied by 5 upon 3 put the reciprocal of the 3 upon 5 5 upon 3 so we got 11 5 is a 55 divided by 3 7 is 21 now divide these numbers 55 divided by 21 21 2 is a 42 42 you got 5 minus 2 is 3 5 minus 4 is 1 2 whole 13 upon 21 is the answer okay 2 whole uh, 2 whole 13 upon 21 this is the answer of this question okay question number seven been given here by writing each number correct to one significant figure estimate the value of 8230 okay now we have to round off these two numbers into one significant figure okay being 8200 zero will be uh, deleted from the right side and there will be no addition in the coming digit 
3 will also be deleted, 2 will also be deleted, and you, we will write a, this will become 8000. Because there is only one significant, one significant figure in 8000. Because 2, 3, and 0, this will be changed into zeros. And the number, whole, the whole number will become 8000. 8000 has only one significant figure. These three zeros are not counted a significant figure, okay? So, multiplied by 0 0.64, how can we change? There should be one significant figure. So, this will become only 0 0.6 because 4 is less than 5. Therefore, 4 will be reduced and the number will remain the same because one will be added if the number is five or more than five so one will be added to the coming digit but here four is less than five therefore no num no one will be added nothing will be added to the six to the coming digit digit which is six so that will become zero even 0 0.6 and we can't put zero in place of four the reason is simple because if you put zero in place of four then that will become two significant figure and the question has been given here okay, correct to one significant figure so the number should be uh, should have only one significant figure so this will become 0 point only 6 okay we cannot put 0 here because this, then that 0 will be counted as a significant figure and then there will be two significant figure which is against the given instruction which has been given in the question okay now divided by 18.7 there should be one significant figure okay so how can we 7 uh, will be omitted and 1 will be added to 8 so that will become 9 and then 9 will be omitted and 1 will be added to 1 so this will become 2 and we will put only one zero in place of 8 after decimal we cannot put 0 because then they, they, those will become three significant figure so now it has only one significant figure which is 2 okay the zeros cannot be counted because there is no decimal before 0 and therefore it is not counted okay so now the question we will simplify this question 0 1 is a 0 and uh, 2 okay 0 will cancel out with the 0 2 4 is a 8 0 0 400 okay this is 400 sorry for this one okay so 400 multiplied by 0 0.6 uh, 400 multiplied by 6 upon 10 one zero will be cancelled out with this one and 6 zero is a zero 6 four is a 24 so 240 is the answer for this question okay Question number 8, part A, 0 0.06 kilometers, write 0 0.06 kilometers and 2 meters, okay. So, uh, we will convert this to so 0 0.06 kilometer. When we convert this into meter, we will have to multiply this into 1000 because there are 1000 meter in 1 kilometer and we are converting the, the big unit which is kilometer into meter which is the small unit okay so when we are converting a big unit into small unit we will have to multiply in to which number we have to multiply how many meters are there in one kilometer so there are thousand meters in one kilometer so 0 0.06 will be multiplied with the 1000 and we will get okay uh, 6 upon 100 to convert this decimal fraction into a common fraction multiply by 1000 two zeros will be cancelled out with these two zeros and you will get only 10 6 60 is the 60 meter is the answer okay now convert 7 meter square into centimeter square okay so how many centimeters are there in one kilometer 7 meter square is equal to 7 we are converting meter into centimeter and there are 100 centimeter and 1 meter and we are converting big unit into small unit the large unit into small unit so there are 100 centimeter and 1 meter so multiplied by 100 and it is a meter square meter multiplied by meter so again we will multiply with the 100 and it's like this one 7 meter meter 7 meter multiplied by meter okay 
So we will put 100 for one meter and 100 for another meter and then solve this one 7, 1, 2, 3 and 4 okay. So 700 uh, centi 70,000 centimeter square is the 70,000 centimeter square is the answer of this question okay. So this was question number uh, question number 8 okay we have solved this one let me erase this part okay so now question number 9 is here right 216 is a product of its prime factors okay 216 how can we convert this into prime factorization we need to find out the prime factorization of 216 so a simple method for this is the division method okay and put prime numbers here the numbers which you are dividing to 16 so that should be a prime number so 2 1 is a 2 2 0 is a 0 2 3 is a 6 okay now again there will be uh, another we will uh, put another number for 2 16 okay 2 1 is a 2 2 0 is a 2 8 is a 16 sorry for this one 2 3 is a 16 2 8 is a 16 because it will become 2 8 is a 16 okay now again we will put 2 here, 2 5 is a 10, 2 4 is a 8 and 2 27 is a 54, 3 9 is a 27 because 3 is a prime number okay, 3 3 is a 9 and 3 1 is a 3 okay. So the prime factorization of 216 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. So you can put this like this one 2 cube 2 1 6 is equal to 2 cube multiplied by 3 cube. So this is the prime factorization of the 216 okay. Another question has been uh, part B has been given here two positive integers are each greater than 25. So we will get two numbers two integers which are greater than 25 their lowest common multiple is 216 means LCM is 216 okay let the two integers are x and y let the two integers are x and y okay so the formula has been given here x multiplied by in the product of two integer is equal to the product of lcm multiplied by hcf this is the formula so we need to find out this one so x y okay and the number must be greater than 20, x is also greater than 25 and y x and y both are greater than greater than 25 so LCM is 216, 216 multiplied by HCF is 18. So 18 is less than 25. Therefore, we will need to increase this one. So the prime factorization of the uh, 216 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. This is the prime factorization of 216 multiplied by 18. Okay. So we have to increase this 18 from 25 so 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 9 is a 72 multiplied by multiply this 3 with 18 sorry okay okay multiply this 3 with the 18 so 3 multiplied by 18 this 3 this one and we multiplied this one okay so this is 72 you can see this one this is 72 and this is 54 18 3 is a 54 so x is equal to 72 and y is equal to 54 so the numbers are 72 72 and 54 both the numbers are greater than uh, 25 okay 72 is greater than 25 and 54 is also greater than 25